Reporter Brittany Bissell takes a closer look at local regulations. I stopped by Fab Limousine in Youngstown and talked to the owner. He says they offer everything from limos, sedans, bus service, and even motor coach. He tells me the inspections depend on the amount of passengers the vehicles carry. The CDL vehicles, which seats 16 people or more, 15 with the uh, driver, or over 26,000 pounds, those require more inspections. They need an annual inspection just to get license plate. That's when your local government comes in, like the State Highway Patrol, and they'll do that inspection. There's also quarterly inspections that have to be done. And then you have quarterly inspections that you have to do on them, and you have to document those quarterly inspections, and that's the same inspection that the State Highway Patrol does, but you do it internally. Mark tells me limos actually aren't inspected by the State Highway Patrol every year. On the limos, just anything that's not CDL required is not as, they come in and inspect you, but it could be every couple years. It's not as thorough as the CDL vehicles. However, if the limo seats more than 15 passengers, then it does have to be inspected to get the plates for it. Mark says the car is checked pretty thoroughly during the inspections. They check everything. They check for anything that's missing, cracked, broken, wore out, looking like it's going to be wore out. If the vehicle does need to have anything fixed, the state will check to make sure it's taken care of before that car goes back out on the road. They'll put you out of service until you get those repairs fixed. And then once those repairs are fixed, you have to have the vehicle inspected again before you can start hauling passengers. Mark says drivers have to go through an intense training and have the proper licensing before they are hired to drive. He also says people renting can go to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration website and search the limo company they are renting from. Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.